Okay, today was weird and somewhat annoying too. It's like s I told you about yesterday. It took me quite some time to try and get a duel going with this deck. It's Ace and Eyes's um, Battery Man OTK deck. It's not that great. It's not that consistent, but I wanted to try it, and I finally got it to work. But it's like my opponents made a pact or something that they just make the duel not work. One time I almost got OTK'd myself because my opponent just spammed a really great 6 Sam play and then she N came out and I wasn't able to do anything so it was a 2 hit, uh, two turn kill. Um, I didn't even have a... I like got one battery man a double A out and that was it. He negated my threatening roar and I couldn't do anything and in all the other games I w got close to the OTK or was trying out and my opponent just all quit somewhere in the middle of the duel, which is really annoying. But luckily, when I was placing, playing Valhalla Hala, Valhalla Hala did um, play until the end. Um, and I actually started very nicely at the start of the game. So I'll start with Battery Man Double A, start it with Short Circuit, start it with Infernal Reckless Summon. I just needed a card that could summon. Um, and I don't think I actually started with. Uh, but I needed one of my combo pieces. Because the combo piece you need are Battery Man Double A, Inferno Reckless Summon, and something that can summon Battery Man Double A from the grave. Because Battery Man Double A needs to be in the grave. And I have three copies of Battery Charger for that, and one copy of Call of the Haunted. And then, usually it is necessary for the OTK, uh, the spell card short circuits. Doesn't always, but pretty much always, you need it. I have two of them, so his spirit... Well, the six samurai would not be a problem, but seeing as it's going to be destroyed at the same time as Kizan, that's not going to matter. So, Battery Man AA is in the grave. Time to OTK. Pay 500 life points, summon a Battery Man from the grave, summon it in attack position because otherwise it's not going to work. It's on a thousand attack, that's 1500 or lower, so I can play Inferno Reckless Summon, summon all of my other Battery Man double A's from my hand, graveyard, or deck. Every other two of my deck, so I summon them to the field. Now, my opponent needs to have a face-up monster on the field for Inferno Reckless Summon to be actually activatable. Um, but they do, and now they get to choose one of their monsters and summon as many copies as possible from their deck. Um, now, my opponent selects Kageki to summon the copies of Kageki. But the strange thing about it is, I don't think my opponent read the effect correctly or misunderstood. I don't really know what's going on. It didn't matter in the end because my opponent couldn't do anything against the OTK. But my opponent summons one Kageki and then the other monster that he summons is Kizan, which doesn't work because that's a different monster and they can only summon all copies of one monster. But I had short circuit. I was going to destroy them anyway, so it does not really matter. Now the only thing that can really stop me here is that face down. Like if it stop if it can stop short circuit. I play short circuit, everything is gone, and s uh, same for the opponent's set guard. Now the opponent here allows all of the monsters to be destroyed, meaning he allows short circuit, the only uh, chain link in the chain, to resolve. And then when all of the card monsters are to the grave, he wants to chain a trap, which is not possible because you cannot chain mid chain. You cannot add to the chain. Because the chain is already resolving, so you have to wait until the chain is completely done until you can start to build up a new one. So my opponent cannot do that. And even if that would have been possible, I had a second short circuit to deal with that. So didn't really matter, but the opponent wasn't able to do that, so I explained it. Clear field ahead of me. Even had a second short circuit to go with that. I could have even summoned another Shining Angel. Would it have been necessary? So let's say you don't have short circuit. The opponent has a thousand attack monster. If you summon Shining Angel, you can still do it. But yeah, I OTK. Finally, took me a while. Um, hope you enjoyed the duel. Tomorrow, I'm going to do a lot of work on that next deck request because it still needs some work, and I want to get it done. I'm really trying to think of a name for the archetype in Yu-Gi-Oh! Burst that's going to make its debut uh, in Chapter Eight because that's the only thing I need to finish Chapter Seven. It's pretty much done, but I want to end it with the name of the archetype that's going to have its debut in Chapter Eight. That I can't think of a good um, name. I want it to be a really great name that I really love because it's going to be like the main cards used by the third main character. We have Alka and Ben, and the third main character will be introduced in Chapter 7, not as a main character then yet, but after a few uh, a few chapters in, 
she will become one of the main three. So yes, we're going to get a female main character. It's not going to be a sausage fest anymore. Everyone can now rejoice. All the people who wanted girls in there because there was one mention in Chapter 4. Now we're going to get a main character girl. Look forward to that. I'm going to see you later.